Alright, hello everybody, welcome to part 15. In the last part we failed badly, but uh, I've got us back to the place we were, and one of the upsides is I beat uh, all of those Chandler Bing impersonators on the way, so we got a little bit stronger in a uh, couple of Pokemon. Uh, so let's take on this guy and uh, keep going. Uh, da 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 you beat me last time, but this time my party is stronger. I have Rebel, uh, who is alive, and you can confuse him all you want, but he'll hurt himself in confusion every single time and die. Oh, but this time we hit the rock throw, so in your face, and uh, Ratata is just going to be rock thrown. I'm going to throw rocks at you, and you're going to die, and I'm going to throw rocks at the Raticate, and it's going to die. And now I'm confused no more. I could dig, but I'm thinking the rock throw probably best still. And I'm missing a lot. You're missing, Rebel. You're missing, Rebel. You know what? I'm not going to use you for a while if you're just going to miss rock throw like five times in a row. Like an idiot. Uh, Alright, let's go for fun, guy. Let's just see if we can uh, maybe get a Mega Drain off. No. Okay, whatever. We've still got tons of people. Let's go to Nemo, because Nemo was the one who died last time. And he'll probably want a chance to redeem himself. Uh, not that it was really his fault that uh, he died. Uh, he let's double edge this Zubat and be on our merry way. So good, good, good. We finally beat that idiot. Don't fight us, Rockets. I know. When I fight you, Rockets, I tend to lose, kind of, when you got eradicated and I'm kind of half dead already. I'm not getting away with it, though. Please don't tell me I have to fight this old man. If I've learned one thing from this game, it's that old men are very scary and often turn into fish. And uh, that... I really don't want to be dealing with that. Hello, Mr. Fuji. Hey, you came to save me? I'm uh, not... Uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I came to save you. Uh, thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Tubon's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. Yes, uh... <laughs> Yes, I may, I may have cut it up with a butcher knife, uh, and that seemed to calm it down a lot. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Why do old men in this game constantly want me to follow them to their houses? I'm still not comfortable with this, but I guess if I survive Professor Oak, I can survive this guy. Sanjeet. What? How did you know my name? I never told you my name. Your Pokedex quest. I never told you I was on a Pokedex quest. Are you psychic or something, or are you just my stalker? You know what? When I was walking through Rock Tunnel, I thought I heard footsteps behind me. I'm guessing that was you in Viridian Forest. Were you, like, rustling in the bushes? Anyway, he's given me a poker flute. Uh, whatever. Probably, like... Uh, I don't really want his poker flute. It's probably full of his germs. But whatever, we've got one. And apparently it can wake up uh, some sleeping Pokemon. So I think we should go wake up that big fat thing that was uh, over in Celadon City. And why are we walking? Why walk when you can fly? Because flying causes more pollution. That's why you should walk. Yes, in fact, for your summer holiday this year, I don't care where you're going, you have to walk there. Sanji says so. So, uh, you know, if you're going uh, a long way, thousands of miles, you, you better get a good pair of shoes. Uh, anyway, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. I can't be bothered to change the party around, so let's just continue with whatever we have as we uh, venture down this road. Uh, so let's play some poker flute music. Uh, let's, uh, let's whip the flute out and uh, give a little tune. Let's hear the beautiful song. It's even more beautiful than my singing, and that really does say something. I don't know when I learned to play the flute. You would have thought uh, he might have taught us how to do that, but I, I guess we, we're already an excellent flautist. So, uh, okay, with that beautiful melody causes this big fat obese thing to try and attack us, and oh, holy goodness me, that's a big Pokemon. Uh, maybe we should try and catch it? I don't know. Uh, probably would be a good idea. So let's just go for a little bit of a dig first, and uh, see what it does. It amnesias raises its special abilities and does the same thing again as we dig again. Uh, I guess it's uh, maybe a tackle if we have it. I, I got rid of it. Okay, I think anything else might just kill it. Don't want to run. Uh, so let's try throwing some balls. Let's try my pair of great balls, which I got a while ago. Uh, darn, it broke free and... Oh, we got it. Alright, Snorlax. Uh, what's a good name for a big fat Pokemon? Uh, Snorlax. 
lax, no Rolex, no lax, Zal Roll, no Rons. Uh, I'm going to call it Ron. You know, I, I can't think of anything. I didn't have any uh, premeditated name for this one. It's sort of a win Pokemon capture. So, uh, I, a slight anagram of it, part of its name would be Ron. The Nor becomes Ron. Not not C, no, even though the C looks like an O. I definitely want the O. And we will call it. I've even forgotten what I was calling it. Ron, there we go. Okay, Ron was transferred to Bill's PC. Now we just need Harry and Hermione and we will be on our way. Excuse me, wait up please. No pedestrians are allowed on cycling road. Oh, this is where I'm going to need my bicycle back, everybody. I need my bicycle. Uh, oop, wrong way. Wrong way have I gone. I need to get my bicycle out of my PC. So apparently there's a big road to cycle on and I'm going to need my bicycle. Uh, I think I left it in this invisible PC. Uh, so let's uh, do this uh, one more time and withdraw our bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. Let's see how insane the speed is. Uh, if I have triple speed and my bicycle out, let's just see how quickly we can actually go. Oh dear, this is... Oh dear. Oh, okay, okay. I think the horizon is blurring every day. Ah, <laughs> Come out and play. How the how on earth did you get up to me? You're so fast. I was traveling at the speed of light. I was like breaking the barriers of the earth. If I was going round the earth, it'd be turning backwards. I'm like Superman. How on earth did you catch me? Anyway, I'm glad you did, or else I would have died. Uh, anyway, I'm going to dig this horrible manky thing out of the way and get to level 28. Send in a machop, which I'm just going to dig. And I actually don't kill it, which is annoying, but a uh, quick rock throw will. And that's the end of this cue ball, you little rat, you little rat, you, you little rat. Uh, anyway, we're like seven minutes in, and I haven't really done much in this part. I guess I caught the Snorlax, but uh, I think we should be going somewhere for the rest of it, so I'm not going to fight all of these people. I'll probably come back to it later off-screen, that sort of thing. But uh, I don't want to be fighting all these people, so let's uh, drop the speed a little, and now we can go. Go, 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 go. Oh. There's no money in fighting, kid. Did he say that? I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm getting quite rich from fighting, you know. I, I fight a lot of trainers, I get money after each one. I think quite a lot of money in fighting. Uh, that, that's my view on the matter. Dig! 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 You stupid, stupid rebel, I want you to take things out in one hit. I only expect so much of you, Rebel, because you've been so good in the past, but, uh... And level 29 is good for you, you're going to learn Harden, but I'm not going to let you, because that's pointless. Burned out, okay, I'm going to switch uh, around my Pokémon, because I think Vindaloo, whilst he's high in level, he was a bit disappointing in the Pokémon Tower, I think he needs some more leveling going, so, uh... Let's see if Voltorb will electrify him, or whether he will, uh, heat up these Voltorbs with his M-Bar. Tricycle hit that bar, sonic booms are flying everywhere in my face, booming sonically. You know what, sonic booms are following my bike when I'm traveling. I'm going that quickly. And it's a seismic toss. Uh, Self-destruct. That's not in the rule book. That's, we're playing by the Marcus of Queensbury rules or whatever it is, and that's not in it. No self-destructing. Not fair. Uh, cycle behind you. <laughs> Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go, okay, and, uh, oh, we're still going insanely quickly, but I think we're off the road now, that was a bit of a steep hill, but, uh, here we are, uh, wherever we are, uh, I don't know, uh, it's green, now it's pink, okie dokie, nice, it's pretty pink color, one of my favorite colors, you know, after, like, red, yellow, Blue, green, uh, purple, violet, indigo, terracotta, orange, and uh, gray, black, white. Uh, sort of turquoise is in there, but only slightly powder blue, eggshell blue. Uh, you know, that's like an off-white color. Brown, another one. Yeah. So after all that, pretty good color. Uh, heal up, heal up. Okay, I need to find out where on earth we are. There's a gym, though, which is, uh, interesting. I will definitely look at that. Uh, where on earth are we? This is where I want my town map back. Lots of signposts, but I don't know what they're going to... Future City! Behold, it's Passion Pink! Oh, so in Future City, 
Uh, do, do, do. This looks like a little bit of a zoo. That's kind of fun. Uh, there's a, what looks to be a bolt orb in there or some sort of clefairy over there. Let's check out the zoo. Why not? I, I think we've got. I'm not going to be doing much else in this part. Chancy, actually. Catching one is all up to chance. Okay, that's a nice pretty Pokemon. Is this a Voltorb like I thought it was? Or are you just displaying an item ball going, Hey, look at our item. No, it's Voltorb. Yes, I just bought some of them on the way down here. Uh, it wasn't very pleasant because they self-destructed. A uh, Slowpoke. And another Slowpoke. Eric, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Oh, well, I guess we've got to find uh, this Sarah person for Eric. Uh, where will he be? Have you seen a person called Sarah? Do you try the safari game? Some Pokemon can only... Oh, forget Sarah! I want to try the safari game! Let's cut through here. I want to... Uh, forget that. I'm, go I'm gonna go in on safari. I I've got a few minutes so we can start the safari game, I think. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, welcome to the safari zone. For, uh, for just 500 you can catch everything here. Yes, I want to do that. Uh, and the call is when we run out of time, so let's go! Let oh, it's like the, tra uh, the trading, the evolution music. I think it's also the trading music. What's going on? Oh, look, it's Sarah. Where did my boyfriend go? Eric go. He's outside. He's just by the, the slowpoke pen outside the safari zone. Are you going to go? Okay, you're clearly an idiot. Hey, hey, did you get a load of the idiot over there? I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. Okay, whatever. Uh, so let's check out the Safari Zone for a few minutes. It's a nice purpley, pinky place. Uh, very friendly looking. Uh, lots of grass and wild Pokemon probably. But let's keep heading into the wilderness. Okay, first thing. Oh, it's a giant egg machine. I mean, not uh, that looks kind of scary. Let's throw. Oh, we can throw rocks and bait and let's throw some rocks. Yeah, this is much better than fighting. Yeah, you better get angry or silly execute. Run away from me. Fear the Sanjeet! Uh, oh, a palace. We already have one of those. Uh, run away. I will run away with you. I will run away to a place where I know more song lyrics. Oh, neither and female. Don't care one iota about you. I found TM37 and I saw another item ball up there. Is there anything I actually want to catch in this place? Because in the moment I'm seeing Palace and Nidorans and uh, that big giant egg which is just like evil looking and looks like some horrible growth. Max Potion, I guess that could come useful. We continue on our journey. Full Store, again could be useful. Another Paras. Yes, there's really nothing I want to catch here at all by the look of it. I guess I should just keep uh, heading on the path straight and true. Because uh, all we're finding are silly Paras. And uh, they're very silly. And I don't care about them one, uh, one little bit. Ooh. Eggs are cute. Definitely not a cute egg. That egg has salmonella if ever there was one. And neither I know. I remember having one of them. Good days. Uh, ooh, Raihorn, that's new. Uh, kind of ugly though, I don't want one. Uh, that Giovanni person, that Hugo Boss character had a Raihorn, uh, so we don't want to be associated with him, because he's, he's massively out of style. No more room for items, that's not very good. Oh, well, that's new, that's a new thing. A uh, Venomoth. Uh, I don't want it, though. I don't care. More Niderlands, more Niderlands. You know what, let's just take a break at this rest hut and uh, probably call it a part there. Uh, so this was part 15 of this uh, thing. Go to the deepest parts of the fire zone, you will win a prize. Ooh, well now we have an incentive. Uh, you can keep any item you find on the ground or do lots of things. And you, you're very well dressed man. My Eevee evolved into a Flareon, but the friend's Eevee turned into a Vaporeon. I wonder why. I wonder why too. And as I sit here on this stool, wondering why... Uh, that's it, I'm not actually going to do anything, but uh, sit here and wonder why, and see you guys in part 16, when we will proceed into the depths of the safari zone and try to win a prize. Hopefully it's not a Nidoran. 
Uh, I will see you then. Goodbye.